with this satellite imagery, what we're looking for usually is, number one, problems out in the field so you can scout. And number two, we like sometimes creating that for variable rate maps, planting populations, things like that. You can use that to some degree. I prefer harvest maps rather than that than satellite imagery. Satellite imagery to me is more about scouting and scouting in season. Now, as I say that, I'd rather find the problem before it shows up on satellite imagery. In other words, if everything in my field looks great except for one spot that looks horrible on satellite imagery, I'm probably going to beat myself up and go, oh man, I should have caught that earlier. But now at least we can go out there and find out in season what the problem is. Because otherwise, if you don't find out now, you're probably going to find out at harvest. You're going to be going along with the combine. You're going to run into that spot and you're going to go, whoa, my goodness, what happened? And then you start making calls. You call your friends. You call agronomists. You call the seed person. You call the fertilizer. Well, what do you think happened out here? They don't know. Nobody knows. Because they aren't in the field. And they weren't in the field when they needed to be, which was early to mid-season. So that's what we use the satellite imagery for so we can figure out, okay, what actually is going wrong in the field way before harvest? I look at satellite imagery as getting my harvest map two to three months early. So it's very helpful that way so you can determine what went wrong so hopefully you can fix it before next season.